Yo, what's up Just Bassin' Around family? It's your boy Fisherman Jay, and welcome to another episode of Just Bassin' Around TV. In today's video guys, we're gonna be targeting some bass. Of course, we're gonna be using all type of baits, lures, things like that to get these bass. But guys, um, the pond that we're gonna be fishing at, I've actually fished before, and um, there's some mud fishes in here, AKA bowfin, grinnell. So we're gonna be targeting those fishes as well. Hopefully we can get some big ones because the last time I was here, I saw a huge one. And then the second time I was here, I saw a couple small ones. So hopefully we can get those uh, bow fins to the bank, get some cool pictures, and hopefully we can get some big ones. I got um, a spinner bait tied up right now. I got my boy Javi with me. Say what's up, Javi. Yeah, what's up? Yes, sir. And we are on the golf course pond right here. The pond is right there. So we're going to see if we can get these bow fins. If we don't, at least we can get some bass. That's what we came here to do originally is catch bass. But I decided to bring my spinner bait to get these bow fins. So uh, make sure you guys like, comment on this video so I can keep giving these videos to you guys and don't forget to subscribe to the channel because that helps me and we'll see you guys at the pond. Boom! All right guys, so we are here at the pond as you guys can see right in front of me. So today, like I said, we got the spinner bait on. It's a Booyah uh, spinner bait. I think it's like one of those smaller ones, those pond editions. So um, I think we'll get, you know, a nice size both in or bass on this. Actually, let me fix that because I don't want that interfering with my spinner bait blades. Always make sure you clean clean off your spinner baits, take the moss off, and make sure your line's not wrapped around it because it will interfere with your spinner baits. So the reel that I have here is a Daiwa Tatula CT 100HS TWX. And for my rod, I got it from Walmart for about 35 bucks. It's a Ozark Trail OTX medium heavy seven foot rod. So that's what we're using today. And uh, we're about to take the first cast. Let's see if we can get a fish, guys. Make sure you guys like, comment for more videos, and let's get on to it. All right, guys, so we're going to take the first cast. Let's see if we can get one. But last time I was here, guys, there was so many bow fins. Like, it was crazy. Like, there was literally one sitting right here in front of me before when I came here last time. So we're going to see if we can catch these guys. But if not, like I said before, I'll be happy with a bass. I'll be happy with a bass. I love bass fishing, bro. But it'll be good to target these uh, bow fins as well. Hopefully we get a nice, a nice bite. Oh, there's a bass right here. There's a bass right here. Oh, there's a bass right in front of me, guys. I actually just saw him. We're gonna slow roll it, see if we can get him. Oh, maybe he don't want it. He didn't even try to hit it just now, but that's all right. We're gonna try to cast towards the right a little bit where there's a little bit more cover here. And we're just going to run this spinner bait right across the side of the bank. Try to get a uh, reaction strike. And I know people sometimes fish for uh, both in with like cut bait. I heard they have more success, but in the past, you know, I've seen, you know, those fishes hit spinner baits, chatter baits, things like that. So, that's what we came here to find out, to test that theory. Actually, you know, get them. But if we don't get any bites like that, or if we don't get any bites, we're going to switch it up. Probably thinking about throwing a uh, Texas rig. I think that would be real nice to throw. All right, guys, so we're going to move on the right-hand side of the bank some just to get a better casting angle. So we're gonna move where the sun is kind of beaming on the water. There's a bunch of grass patches over there where I can run this sprinter bait onto the, from um, coming towards the bank. So we're gonna see what we can catch over there real fast, guys. Guys, right when I said I was gonna come around here to fish, there is a big mud fish right here. I don't know if you guys can see. He's right, he's like right down here. And I'm gonna throw the spinner bait. Watch out. I'm gonna... Yeah, he is huge. I'm going to throw the spinner bait right there, and we're going to see if we can get them, guys. I'm going to have to jump it up over this moss, but... We got him. No We way. got him. We got him. Big old mudfish. Big old mudfish, this guys. Look at that fish. Oh. Oh, my God, guys. Yeah. I have to kill him. Look at that mudfish, guys. Big old mudfish. Wow. Literally, 
I literally said he was right here. As soon as I came on the right hand side, got him right here, guys. We're gonna pick him up real quick. I don't have my scale. Wow, guys, we actually came here and target this big old mud fish here, guys. Where's my pliers? I am so, <laughs> I'm going crazy here. That's your second one? Huh? That's your second one? Yes, this is my second one ever. Oh my gosh, look at that beautiful fish, guys. We're gonna unhook them. Look at those razor sharp teeth. A second, guys, I'm gonna pick them up, get this hook out, guys, and we'll be right back. Make sure you guys like. Look at that beautiful fish right there, guys. He got a little bit dirty, but we got him, guys. He was right there. Beautiful fish, guys. We're gonna, all right, guys. So we're gonna release this guy back in the water. Gorgeous fish, gorgeous fish. All right, guys. So that uh, bowfin literally bent the heck out of my uh, spinner bait, as you guys can see here. He ripped the whole thing up. So. Right when we were going to a new spot, guys, my boy Javi caught his fish for today. First fish for today, guys. Hopefully, we can get on some more. Nice little bass. Yes, sir. Good job. Oh, <laughs> I hope you get it out. He's a small one, like half a pounder, but still good. Yeah, let's get him back in there. He'll get bigger next time. All right, guys. So, uh, we're actually here at a new location where Harvey caught his fish at. So we're gonna take the cast, take a cast here and see what we can catch. And hopefully we could get some big ones towards the bank. Oh wow. I, I just got hit already. I just got hit. I just got hit by something. Oh yeah, he just hit it again. He hit it again. Oh, oh, I missed him. I missed him. Hook's still good though, hook's still good. Everything's in there, he just, oh wow, he's back, he's back. Oh, <laughs> little guy, <laughs> little guy. Wow, <laughs> wow, another bass. These guys are aggressive. They're smaller too. Is that the same one that I just no, you could release yours over there. This one was down middle. No, nah, usually when you catch them, rarely they will bite another person's like lure right back. Rarely, but it does happen, especially in, like you know really good places like I'll say like the Everglades. Yeah. That was crazy. Like he came back for a double time. Let's see if we get another one. Wow. It was a little guy. Try casting like in the middle because that's where I found that bite at. Maybe they're like Chilling somewhere down in this middle right here. Oh, I got another one. Oh, oh, I got another one. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. Yep, that's a nice one. Yeah, he's bigger. He's bigger. Wow. Wow, he is huge. This one's huge. Wow, look at this guy. Wow. Another bass. Big old guy. He ate it right up too. Jesus, he fought hard, guys. Let's get him back in there. Get that hook out of his mouth. Fish is good. Yes, sir. Let's get him back in there, folks. Third bass so far. Wow, guys. They're loaded here in this little corner. No bites here, so we're just going to come down a little bit and see if we can get another one going. I'm going to cast, like, right here 
with these green leaves are sticking up out of the water. I think that'd be a good spot. And I think hopefully there'll be a big one over here too. So we're gonna cast. Oh, we cast beside it, but that's still good. But I was aiming for directly in front of it. Oh yeah, Javi got one. Good job, Javi. Yes, sir. Good job. You want to come show them to the camera? Yes, sir. Good fish. Nice guy. Yeah, not bad. You got him. Oh, there's another little bass right here. I just saw him. There's another bass right here. I literally just saw him. Need the pliers? So we're still trying to cast. Oh, we got one on. I think, oh, he's on. Yep. There we go. There we go. We got him. Wow. He's a strong one. He's a strong one. Wow. That, that is a huge one, guys. Wow. Another big one, guys. Wow, he is huge. Wow. Nice guy. Literally said I was on the cast right over there. Do it over there again. Nice guy got on him. Let's get a good release on him. Thank you. He took off so quick. Wow, guys. We're doing good, guys. Yo, thanks for tuning in. Just passing around family. Today was a great day, guys. Like, it was just great. We caught one different species of freshwater fish today, which was the mudfish. Got my boy Hobby right here chewing on some tacos. <laughs> but uh, yeah, today's video was awesome, man. We caught a couple bass after it got hard catching the mudfish because they weren't biting anymore. But uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for, you know, the guys that uh, subscribe to the channel, the ones that's, you know, following me, uh, liking my videos and tuning in. Uh, thank you so much for that. And uh, we'll see you guys around. Stay tuned for another video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more videos because I will push these videos out to you guys. And I really hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you guys on another adventure. See ya. Boom!